Good afternoon everyone, it's Titan here. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I could not resist the urge to get out and take a ride. The weather has been off and on all week. Uh, one day it's supposed to be raining and thunderstorm, then the next day it's supposed to be nice and beautiful. It's just been crisscrossing patterns all week, so that's why I really haven't done uh, that many vlogs this week. I normally don't mind, like if it's about a 30% chance of rain, I don't mind going ahead and riding the bike because normally that just means it'll be raining in some parts, not all over. But the only problem is, is if I have to bring my uh, my work laptop home or to work, uh, it's an expensive laptop. I don't want to get any water on it. So that's the main deterrent of why I don't ride if there's going to be a chance of rain. So I had kind of a crazy week last week. My uh, parents came in town because they are going to go celebrate their wedding anniversary, uh, their 35th wedding anniversary. And they decided that they were uh, going to take a cruise after they got back from a trip from England. And my father uh, does kind of training insulting for uh, quality companies. So he travels internationally all the time. He'll go to China and... Uh, England and different parts of Europe just doing business and he racks up so many frequent flyer miles that he takes my mom on most of the trips uh, with him so that's kind of cool so they kind of turn every single uh, business trip into a mini vacation so what they did is uh, they drove to my house in Atlanta and they hung out with us for a while and we drove around. I think we actually looked at some houses because they're interested about buying some houses in Atlanta as well. So we drove around, looked at some houses, and then they left their car at my house because they were going to be gone for a week to England and that saved them, you know, a lot of money without having to pay for the parking of the vehicle. And I drove them to the airport. Well, when they were supposed to get back, what we were going to do is I was going to drive out there with my wife and pick them up and then, or excuse me, swap cars with them and then I have my wife drive me home. Well, I had forgotten that my wife was supposed to go on a business trip the day that they were coming back in. So what wound up happening is she got up and drove her car to the nearest MARTA station and then rode MARTA to work, or I'm sorry, MARTA to the airport and then she took off to go on her trip. And I rode my car to work like normal. And then when I got home, I swapped cars to give my parents their car back, drove to the airport to give them their car, and then I rode Marta to where my wife had dropped her car off and picked that car up and drove it home. So it was kind of like, basically playing hot potato with uh, cars. But on the trip uh, from the airport to uh, the MARTA station where my wife left her car, I was in the rear train on the, on the MARTA station, on the MARTA train, and this woman who kind of had the appearance of someone who had done a lot of drugs in their life, you know what I'm talking about, they're, they're extremely skinny and they kind of have the appearance of not really sure where they are and sort of talking to themselves. Well, it's kind of gross, but she just projectile vomited like into the middle of the train. And that wasn't even the weirdest part. She looked down at it and she looked up at everyone and she screamed, the bus is contaminated, everyone evacuate now. And just started going like, ballistic on on like yelling at people to evacuate and to leave and just just creating a major disturbance well as the uh the rail doors were about to close so that we could go on to the next station she dove through the vomit into the middle of the doors so that they wouldn't be able to close so after about the third time the uh the marta operator noticed that someone was blocking the doors and she requested if there's any MARTA police on board to please go to the rear of the train. Well, I decided to go ahead. Oh, wow, you're doing an awesome job of directing traffic here. 
Well, I decided to go ahead and evacuate the train because I wasn't going to hang out in some, uh, looks like they ran out of gas. I wasn't going to hang out in some train with some woman who's vomiting everywhere and screaming off the top of her head. So I kind of stepped over her and out of the train and then signaled for the uh, MARTA officer that that's where the disturbance was and got back on the train. For some reason, it took them 40 minutes to actually remove her from the train. I guess the, uh, the police officer didn't want to touch her either. But finally, after about 40 minutes of just sitting at that one station, they went ahead and moved on. But it was just, it's just ridiculous how one person can cause the whole East Marta line to be delayed for 40 minutes because no trains could bypass us because we were on the lane. And I guess they could have actually switched tracks uh, temporarily to let uh, the train pass by, but I guess they didn't think that they were going to be there that long. So that just turned an absolute already crazy day into just a hilarious one. So if you ride public transportation, be, uh, be willing to deal with some crazy people because you will definitely see them. So that's how my week was.